is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to the finale of season two of Awani Monogatari. It has been a long time coming. I cannot believe that this is the second to last series before we are completely done with this. And the good thing about this is, remember how last time I was having like a hard time to finally find episodes, and then I found one, and then I didn't get to openings in them, and then, um, I was gonna put this into parts, and normally how I do everything. But someone was nice enough to find all three episodes, all separate, with maybe the openings. I don't really know. We're gonna find out when we watch this. So a big thank you to them because, oh god, that would it just I was like, oh, I don't know what to do, and everything. But I am so 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 excited to see how this second season ends and what all is going to be tied into the final season of. The Monogatari series, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started with part one in three, two, one, go. Are we killing Oshino too? I mean, by the end of this episode, or three part of thing? Of course, Oshino needs to need to fucking go. Even though that's, you know, best girl mommy from Madoka, but she need to go. Yep, there's an opening. Okay. Yay! Because I actually got to see, I think it was before I watched um, the last two episodes. Or two? Yeah, it was two. I actually got to see the opening. I had actually honestly seen the opening months ago. I went on this like karaoke site for Japanese openings. And I was bored. And I typed in Monogatari because I was like, I really want to use the opening as... Um, one of my like intros or outros and it's fine. and I found it and it was creditless and I don't know if I'm still going to use it I did download it but it's a really good opening it's probably maybe my current newest fave song for this series but yeah I just need this girl to get like her ass whooped I love her to death. She's a very interesting character. Probably one of the most complex characters of this series. But. And also the most mischievous? Mischievous, that's the word. Because I never would have thought that she would be. I, I never considered her like a villain in this series. I always considered her as a hero. And a friend. And an ally to Agaraki. But then the issue. You know with the first thing happened. <laughs> first few episodes of this arc I mean ooh I don't know what to believe anymore Anunoki here too.
Because you know we can't end this season, this this last episode without my best girl. I don't like the fact that she is holding that sword like that. <laughs> It's so weird to see that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> My three lollies are back together, even though, you know, one of the lollies ain't a lolly anymore. You know, Agatha, you were like way worse than fucking Lugan with freaking Fujiko. Oh my god. Like, sit your horny ass down. Okay. <laughs> if you ever would have told me that I was going to be watching an anime series with Maya Sakamoto and freaking Sorami, like, I would have looked at you like you were nuts and that they would have been playing a doll a Sorami and a vampire for Maya, like, still... <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Cause it would have been the other way around if it was this baby sheet of blue. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's right. You know what I think about sometimes? Remember the thing that I think was Hachikuchi kept saying about that, like, that coming soon-ish 
we know that's not going to happen, but what if she was really talking more about this and not what she was talking about? I don't know. I'm about to say when it does here, though. I mean, with a kiss shot with Sheena, but she'd be playing too. Of course. <laughs> you should also be worried about yourself.
All I hear is hot and heat for Gioka. <laughs> that and what's your face from the <laughs> detective? Oh. Of course. Well, yeah, so who is actually is going to kill him? Because she's a gun. How? But how the? Well, shit. Okay, can we take become a god for three hundred? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm at Son Goku, not Hachikuchi, because Hachikuchi is my way. I was. <laughs> So basically, this little girl is going to be OP as fuck. So she'll be fine. Yeah, are you really fine with that? Well, not only that, but it's just, do you think it's a good choice for you? Are you sure?
You do what you think is right. Yeah. But she is something. She could be a monster or whatever. <laughs> like they're cute. <laughs> Honestly, it is. For me, I just think it's that's the first time I saw her. I always thought something was weird about her. There you go. <laughs> and she felt too normal. Because what is normal in this show? Oh God, I didn't even know you were right there. Yeah. So you need two more sacrifices. It is. I, oh, sorry, Cody, I didn't mean to hit you. What? How? No! What? Are you serious? Um, why the fuck was in this talk about, like, months ago when this girl first popped up? Why wait until the second to last series to finally, you know, put some clarity on this chick? I mean... See, I knew there was something off about her. I knew there was something off. I See, that's why I can't trust her. There was points where I could not trust this girl. As much as I liked her as a character, I thought she was interesting, but she felt too interesting to my eyes. Bitch, what the fuck? Are you serious? I ain't got nothing else to say about it, but this is a really good episode. It's so awesome to really see Kishot in this art style because you don't really get to see her as much and especially if you watch the movies before this or how I originally was going to do um I think the movies were going to be the last thing I was going to watch at the time I don't really remember because that was like last year when I was talking about this right and everybody was like no 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 don't do that and I was like okay so what do I need to do next um because I mean it's just so the art style of the movies like I mean it that is a gorgeous work of art I mean dude like put that in like a fucking gallery hang that like find a really nice like scene I, I think like one of my favorite parts is like when her and freaking Agaragi are talking together and she talks more about her past and how everything just looks so beautifully well drawn and everything take that screenshot that whatever get that thing blown up Put that shit in your house and just be like, 
bask in this gloriness of this movie and everything. But, like, I just love the fact that you can see her in this art style because she looks so pretty. And I love her. She's still one of my favorite characters. And I'm glad that, you know, we get to see her like this because it just feels like forever since I've seen her as an adult. And then the cute thing she gets the whole Akaragi and it's not the other way. <laughs> like, oh my god, but are you fucking serious about Oshino? I I mean we got two episodes left and I got no fucking clue how the hell this is gonna end. I mean I do love the fact that they're bringing up the subtle references and everything from the um ONA series that I, I watched before this. Because a lot of people said, oh, they're going to bring that back. And I do love the fact there's little subtle hints of that they're bringing back. But, oh, God. <sighs> do I really want Mayoi to do this? Like, I I'm scared for her. But I'm at the end of the day, it's her choice. Whatever is going to happen, it's their choice. No matter what in the hell is going to happen. Whether it's good, whether it's for the good or for the bad. It's their decision. I'm just someone who's sitting here and watching it. Because no matter what, it's already happened. Ow, fuck. Um... And there's nothing I can do to stop it. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for part two. Okay, part two and three. Oh my god. And three, two, one, go. You know, freaking this bitch. She probably sitting somewhere just waiting. Like the badass bitch she is. I don't know. I mm mean, -hmm. The fact that the final villain of the second to last series is just a fucking high school girl, I mean, bruh, I don't know. Who's going to be the last villain of this show? I don't know. It, it, like, what if the last season of this show is just like, I don't know, I got no clue. I, I'm just like, mm. I, I'm stoked. I just want to hurry up and finish these two next episodes so I can go ahead and start the last season. Just to see how all of this is going to end. Right? I, I need that fruit, bitch. Because that's her name. Well, yeah, because that's how she introduced us to her. Unless that's not her name. She like fucking Kaiki. See, you can't trust people. So she a Pokemon? I I'm just kidding though. I just need to say that.
explain. In the words. So then how did your sister face it? Oh, that face though. <laughs> oh. mm, okay, makes sense. Mm-hmm. Wait. Because she just showed the fucking monkey ball. She used the monkey ball. Then she had to. What else can you use? <sighs> All right. Fuck you for doing that. Fuck you for doing that. That's so mean. <gasps> oh, she cut her hair!
God, the way this is going, this is just like last episode vibes. Like, oh my god, this is the ending of the series. That's it. You're not gonna kidnap her, are you? Okay, hold on. Why didn't Sengoku walk her ass on? No. 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 Damn it, it's too late now, because she already on that damn bike. The fact that she got complete fucking balance on the bike juice or something. Well, is there anything you're good at? No shit. Cause she is kidnapping your ass. This is why you should have walked. Oh god. This is the abandoned school, isn't it? Mm hmm Damn, we haven't been here in a while. Isn't it interesting that it's just mm, Nope. Mm hmm
I need Sue to read the fucking room. Get the fuck out. Mm-mm. You can't trust her. Mm-mm. Turn around and just go home. Oh, God, you are scaring me. Don't do anything to her, please. Seriously? But they were interesting. And let's go. Let's do this. Of course. about
not do a fucking cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. How? Explain. That's all I want to fucking know. Fuck you. Explain that as how. How is that possible? This some um, oh, the only thing that I can currently compare this to right now, and I really wish that they would animate this, but I don't think they ever truly will. Is the last like big arc of Subasa Reservoir Chronicles, the truth. Not the the fact is that you know he had a twin, but that other ish the, with the thing that has to deal with, with Watanuki and other things. If you have not read that, I'm not gonna spoil it on it because it is some good ish and it made me look at not only Subasa Reservoir Chronicles differently, but also Triple X Holic and the feature. And even the Tsubasa World Chronicles that they do after. But are you fucking kidding me? Like, you're joking, right? Like, no. How? I, I mean, honestly, I need some clarity on that. Okay, because then it kind of, you know, it makes kind of a little bit sense. Because in the opening, there's two of her. And one shrouded in darkness, and one is actually hurt. So you're telling me the the one that's shrouded in darkness is just fucking out of the I I don't know. I'm like, I have to call some shit out because I would excuse me. So you're telling me for the whole entire time it's been him. Like, how though? I don't know. 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 But that, I mean, if they would have left that on a cliffhanger, I would have been a hell of more pissed because then you're like, I gotta wait until the last next fucking episode to sit there to see how part three is gonna end. I do like the fact that they, you know, had her and Sue have a conversation because they felt like, to me, the only two characters that didn't really have a moment because she talked to Cotton. And we've seen that before, but that was, like, a while ago. But And so Sue was really the only one, because she's, like, literally talked to almost every fucking person in this damn series. But, like, oh, my God. But seriously, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, this some Twilight Zone shit? Like, are you fucking serious? Like, nah. So they're gonna, uh, I don't know, they're gonna just duke it out. I don't know what the fuck is gonna, they're gonna duel, of course, but like, ooh, okay, okay. I gotta, alright, alright, I gotta find out what the hell is gonna happen next. Alright, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for the final part. Okay, part three in three, two, one, go. But when the fuck did he create it, though? Mm, okay. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
and that unknown was her. Oh, damn. <laughs> But then the question is, if he kills her, will she be whole? Will he be whole again? Okay. Because she's young. Damn, that makes so much sense now. Because any time when he wasn't there, he was there. Any moment, like, we're talking to Kamaru. See, now, like, oh my god. See, this makes me want to rewatch this series over again, which I might do, because I really love this series a lot. It's now, honestly, my top in my top five. Because as someone who likes a lot of series that make you think, question a lot of things, because this has made me question a lot of ish and sometimes i was up in the middle of the night thinking about this show i'm just like well, where the hell is this gonna go and trying and thank god we're at the end and i never spoiled myself but like oh if you would have told me at the beginning of this series all the way to last year when i started this damn series that getting to this and knowing the truth about what just happened of these two, I probably would have listened to you like you were nice. I probably wouldn't even have believed you, like dead ass. But oh my god, it all fucking makes sense. And so now, anytime if you look at back at any scene, she was fucking me. I can't. Oh my god. I can't, but that's fucking brilliant. That is like, ooh. I mean, damn. I, I don't know what else to say.
You should have saw this coming. Mm -hmm. True. Honestly, this is bittersweet. Oh my god. I don't know what else to say about it. That too. <laughs> Damn, she might have to be one of my favorite characters after this. But you can't do that, though. I would cry, but I can't cry. I'm, I'm crying way too much.
And then we can just end the episode right here. We don't need anything else. Oh my god. Damn, that's a long ass slide. <laughs> On my thigh. Not my thigh. Back up.
Excuse me? Yeah. Being a doll still. A lot of things happened while you were gone. <laughs> Why should be herself just nude? <laughs> right. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say about this. This is so freaking good. I loved it. Ugh. This arc was probably the best arc. I mean, you know what? Honestly, all the arcs were the best. There was never an arc that I disliked. Everything about this series is so fucking good. I mean, it is up there with freaking Bunny Girls on Pie. Fucking Harihi and any other series that is mysterious as fuck. Questionable as fuck. It's sometimes a little confusing, but then you eventually understand it later on when you do a little bit more research and everything. But I really like this. Even though it's nothing, I've still got one more season to go. And I honestly cannot wait to see how it's just going to tie everything together. But I'm happy. Damn, you're just gonna end it like that? Like, seriously? Nothing else? Okay, 
but this was really good. I, I just really like this. I think, well, of course, y'all already know, my favorite part was the date. That was the best fucking episode. I'm sorry, because, like, ugh. That was something that I really want to do with my freaking future boyfriend or husband or whoever. I mean, honestly, it was just amazing and just... Ugh. But now, what the hell is going to happen next? Are we just going to see a little bit of their college life? Like, for a couple, what? We got six episodes left. So, is it going to be, like, a couple of months later down the line? I don't know. Shit. But this was good. You made me fucking, fucking cry when Oshino came back. Because I kept thinking there was no way in hell... That this man was gonna come back. I was like going back to when I finished the first season and I was thinking, all right, he's gone. I got he has to take out all these girls and their problems and everything. I was like, this man is never fucking coming back. Let's just thank God that no one fucking spoiled me on that shit. I bet you y'all were like sitting there like, mm, if only she knew. But I mean, it's good. I'm glad nobody spoiled me on this because. I would have been hella pissed if somebody would have been like, oh, hey, he's gonna be, he's gonna come back. I just can't tell you when. But, ugh. I needed that. I mean, I, I was still, I remember, like, episodes when she kept looking for him and looking for him, and I was like, I'm a little hopeful. I don't think she's gonna find him, but oh my god, Hanakawa came through. Best girl came through. Oh my god. All my girls. All these characters that I've loved since the beginning of this series all came in for this really last episode but I'm happy uh, it's everything I needed like oh my god and he finally he finally graduated like oh I'm just so happy for him and proud of him and freaking Hanagawa and mm, best girl said Johanna like oh my god finally they like I never thought we would have made it to this day but uh I'm so glad they did. And everything's okay. And we can move on to whatever the fuck is gonna happen in this last season. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards <clears throat> season two of A Lot of Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, just uh, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the match with And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the start of the final arc and everything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this now, too. There's, I think, like I said, there's six episodes, I believe, for this last arc. Do, I'm going to go ahead and ask this now, but I think I'm going to go ahead and watch them by twos like I normally do. If there's a point where I need to watch the first three episodes together and then the last three episodes together, go ahead and tell me. Possibly by the time when this comes out on Friday for Patreons, they'll tell me. So, just in case I don't get something, because between Friday or Saturday, I will put something down just in case somebody needs to come in. And, like, when Monday comes and people are like, oh, hey, like, you could do it like this. If you already see that, you ain't got to worry about it. But, yeah. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.